Right, first off, don't do this at home. Benny's a professional. He knows what he's doing. I don't. That's why I didn't touch it. Today, we're gonna cut this, this one. Ooh, not just that one. We'll be cutting others as well. All right, Benny's here. What are you doing? Hey, how are you? Is that what you're using? That's what we're using, Donald. You guys are crazy. That's a beauty. He's got so much cuts that I need right through. But you know, I'm so disappointed with the one that I cut, eh? I thought I'd have a lot more calcedony running through. It looked like the calcedony was going all the way from the top to the bottom, but look inside. It yeah. might be behind that bit of raw lag. That was your first thunder egg. Yeah. Oh, it's cool, it's like a double. I'm glad I didn't cut it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done is I wet the ground, I literally mm. pushed them in the ground, and they were kind of locked there, and just Pure pressure of the blade on them. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty, man. man. That's done well. That's beautiful, eh? Yeah, man. So you see that the lip, I don't know how to control that. That's all right. I can I take that off with the tassel. Just yeah, line that's it up what I got on zing. mine as well. Next one. All right, jeez. Do the pink one. You want the pink one? Which way? That way? Yeah. Yeah, I told the neighbors they're happy. Is it that noisy or? <laughs> Look at that! Oh man! Oh man! That's crazy, man. Damn, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll show you these in the sun tomorrow. Woo! Oh, that's cool. All right, line up a couple. Let's do this one. You gonna do a couple in a row? Cool. Is that? We need to rinse them up. Cool. Really. Nicely done, Benny. That's amazing, eh? Oh, That's yeah. crazy. Sun's going down, but we'll get it. All right, so this one, it's got that beautiful dark calcedony carnelian. Do you reckon thunder egg? I've got no idea. It's a bit of a gamble cutting this one, though, eh? I think if we went right across, mm -hmm. then you're hitting pockets that should show some goodness. Ready to see what it looks like? Oh, oh. oh my god. That's a lucky cut we've done, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Benny, that's, good, that's huh? so good. Holy. How much fun is it to cut the eye? It is nuts fun, dude. <laughs> Look at the sun coming through it. I can't believe that, eh? That's a sweet, juicy, would you call it a thunder rig? Sure. I reckon it is. Happy days. Even the raw light in between is amazing. Yeah, the raw light looks beautiful. Next level. Oh, wow. These are beautiful, absolutely right? Yeah. Is that like a little Druzy cave? Yeah, look at you. A little betroidal Druzy. Mm -hmm. And that's another one. You can see the betroidal go bloop. Do I look really cool? <laughs> Sorry. It's a big cut. I reckon cut it boom that way. We'll be able to see if it goes further there and further there. All right. What do you think? Give it a spin. Have a look. Have a look. Hold on. Thank you so much, Benny. 
Whoa. Oh man, that's a beautiful piece. Look at that. That was cut perfect, dude. You did brilliant. That, that's actually better than what I thought. Wow. Oh, that's cool, man. Look at the patterns in the rhylite too, man. That's beautiful. What you should try is maybe take another cut of it. If you were gonna try to go through the guts. I reckon this one. Yeah. Because this one doesn't have as much going on in it. Dude, dude, oh, dude. Dude. That was a perfect cut, man. Look how much more you exposed. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Oh, what a beautiful rock, man. Oh man, that was cool. I'll show you them tomorrow when the uh, when the big guy comes back up. I love it, dude. I love it. These are going to have some deep saw grooves on there, and they're going to be left with this big saw dag. That's because we've used a, a bigger blade. It's not mounted on anything, so it was up to Benny to try and keep it straight. That's going to be able to be fixed up using this guy. So in a couple videos time, I'll be able to use him with those attachments. If you want to see how that works, there's a dude called Michigan Rocks and also Kevin Nix. He was the first person I saw to use one of these. I'll put a link to both of their channels in the description. What we've done is just cut them open to see what they look like. See these little crystals in here? Those are actually called fen fenacrysts. And they're very common in the rhyolite out here. I learned that thanks to uh, Michael Crowdy. He's a rock guru. Has handed this area a lot. You'd be safe to say that's a jazz baguette. Again, this is going to be smoothed off. I know also another thing that people will comment about is, oh, don't cut them straight in half. That's a great rule. Um, but I can also make slabs out of that. I kind of like to see what's right in the middle of some of the rocks. These bad boys, beautiful. Just gorgeous. Cassetony captured in the rhyolite. Probably could have cut it along that way to expose more of this. But we're learning in a with the big ones, sometimes, I mean, we, we could only really see that on the outside and this, of course. Okay, no excuses. That one's beautiful. You can see it on the outside there. And on the inside, it's just amazing. Yeah, I love it. Now this one looks like that on the outside. I really thought it might be sort of, I don't know, a lot more stuff on the inside, but although it looks kind of plain in there, it's still beautiful. And there's some real delicate waterline going across there. This one's an agate. And I can actually see in here more lines, very light lines. Definitely going to be pretty. Oh, hello, my friend. This one was just nuts. Just nuts. Like, seriously. Hello. So this is some beautiful carnelian. Trapped in some rhyolite. Red jelly goodness. And I'm really sorry for those sore lines. It's just what happens. It's gonna come off, I promise you. Tell you what though, when that's polished, sitting just like that, that is a pair, that's gonna be stunning. All right, on to Bertha. Basically, I did think that it would probably just be sort of on the top, maybe a bit through there, but I never imagined that we'd have little 
thunder egg type things in there. And also that rhyolite's just beautiful. Just beautiful. We decided to give it a second cut down there and I'm glad we did. It exposed some more of that chalcedony running through there. It can all come off, trust me. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> all right, look, that was, that was the cutting of those beasts. I really have to thank Benny. Happy handing, guys. I will see you next video. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.